My name is Kirtland DeVille. I'm an Associate Professor of Radiation Oncology at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine and Clinical Director of Sibley Radiation Oncology. The benefit of proton therapy is that it has no exit dose. Traditional radiation delivered by x-rays, also known as photons, exits into the surrounding tissues. In this lung tumor case, that exit radiation impacts normal healthy lung tissue in the ipsilateral and contralateral lungs outside of the target, as well as the esophagus, heart, and spinal cord. Because protons have no exit dose, the proton therapy plan spares the heart and the esophagus and reduces the radiation dose to the spinal cord, normal healthy lung tissue, and the body in general. This lowers the risk of developing a secondary malignancy in the future. When we look at the comparison of the plans in the top right panel, we can see that the dose volume histogram, which is used to quantitatively compare the two plans, shows that there is excellent tumor coverage from both plans in the red lines to the right. But the organs at risk, such as the esophagus, spinal cord, and heart, receive significantly lower dose in both the high and low dose regions in the proton plan shown in the solid lines compared to the photon plan shown in the dotted lines. In the bottom right panel, we can see the excess radiation dose delivered by the photon plan in comparison to the proton plan. With less radiation dose exposure, the proton plan has the potential to reduce acute side effects like esophagitis and pneumonitis and improve the patient's quality of life and nutritional status during treatment. I treat patients with genitourinary cancers like prostate cancer and also have a clinical and research expertise in soft tissue sarcomas, which are cancers of the soft tissues of the body. This is a case of a patient with a retroperitoneal sarcoma arising in the posterior abdomen and pelvis. We can see that while the photon plan in the bottom left panel covers the tumor target well, it comes at the expense of spraying dose around to the bowel, kidney, and even spinal cord. The extent of the excess radiation dose to the normal healthy tissues and adjacent organs is noted in the bottom right panel. The proton plan significantly reduces the dose to the bowel and completely spares the ipsilateral kidney and spinal cord. This reduced dose exposure to the normal healthy tissues can allow the patient to tolerate treatment better with less acute side effects like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and also reduce the risk of late effects like renal insufficiency, bowel obstruction, and the development of a secondary malignancy. All of the patients treated at the Johns Hopkins National Proton Therapy Center will have access to the ongoing clinical research trials at the Johns Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center. We will also have trials that are unique to proton therapy. For example, I'm on the research investigative team for the largest national trial comparing proton and photon therapy for patients with prostate cancer. This is a PCORI-funded pragmatic trial uh, in planning to enroll over 3,000 patients to assess whether, our whether there are comparative differences between proton and photon therapy for prostate cancer, and will assess the bowel, urinary, and sexual function complications and risks for men undergoing these treatments. We partner with the referring physician and the patient to ensure that we're reducing the burden and the stress during what can be a very difficult diagnosis and complex clinical situation.